Have you ever wondered what it's like to speed around a winding racetrack at 200 miles per hour in a 130 degree car? Well now consider doing that while managing a chronic health condition like diabetes. Well NASCAR Xfinity Series driver Ryan Reed and race car driver Connor Daly know exactly what this is like and join us to discuss balancing their diabetes management and busy lives. Thank you both so much for joining us. Hey, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us on. So Connor, starting with you, give us uh, maybe a little snippet of, of your diabetes story. Yeah, absolutely. I was uh, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 14. Um, obviously, I was racing at the time. I started when I was 10 in go-karts, started to, you know, progress through the ranks and, uh, you know, found a little bit of a bump in the road. Uh, my family didn't know much about diabetes. I didn't know much about diabetes, um, but uh, but I, I never wanted it to get in my way at all. I, I was racing four days later out of the hospital. Uh, I, I knew that I could continue living as long as I had what I needed around me and I had the support system around me and uh, you know it was it was it you know now here we are 26 uh, I've been racing with diabetes now for 12 years and uh, I've raced all over the world been been in five Indianapolis 500s uh, been driven Formula One cars been all over the place and uh, I'm very lucky to do so uh, you know all while uh, while living with this disease so I'm um, I, I couldn't be more excited to be making my uh, NASCAR debut now in, uh, in two weeks at Road America. So uh, life has been a wild ride, and, and here we are uh, getting ready to continue to accomplish some more goals. Right. You didn't let it define you, and you know, you've know you got some exciting things coming up. And Ryan, I imagine uh, you didn't let it keep you down either, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously, doing what I love today, racing in NASCAR uh, and, and mo one of motorsports' highest, highest levels full-time, um, and, and doing so with with Lily Diabetes and going all around the country and encouraging people to work with their doctor and manage their diabetes and, and live out their dreams. Uh, it certainly wasn't, wasn't that easy at first uh, when I was diagnosed a little bit different than Connor. Uh, I was actually told that I'd never race again. So right off the bat, you know, I, d I learned quickly how much this disease was going to affect my life. And uh, I was so fortunate and blessed to have amazing family. My mom and dad are so great. And uh, they were definitely uh, two of the most influential people that, that helped me get through the, the initial diagnosis. And then found a doctor uh, who really turned things around and was like, we're gonna make this happen. If you listen to me and work with me, we're gonna get back into a race car and uh, kind of the rest was history. So uh, it's been a, like Connor said, a wild ride and a lot of ups and downs, especially when you're dealing with diabetes, literally, literally and figuratively. Um, but you know, it's just about managing the, managing the bad times and, and uh, obviously looking forward to the good times. Right, just like having a good pit team, it's important to have a, a great medical uh, team standing behind you too, sort of helping you through it. And so, Connor, why are you partnering specifically with uh, Lily Diabetes and Ryan on this initiative? Well, I've always had a passion for, for driving whatever I could drive. And, uh, you know, NASCAR was the next frontier for me. And uh, when this opportunity came about, you know, Ryan and I met a couple years ago and, and really threw up a picture on Instagram with a, with a hashtag of Team Diabetes. And a lot of, uh, a lot of people really responded well to it. And, you know, I, I've had a relationship, uh, you know, with Lily Diabetes in the past. You know, they were, they were a partner of mine uh, at the Indianapolis 500 in 2016. And so, uh, you know, they asked me if I ever wanted to do NASCAR. And I said, absolutely, like, let's, uh, let's do this. So it was a really cool, um, cool way to team us up. And I think people have, uh, have loved to see that we're helping each other in, our, in, in not only in racing, but in our daily lives as well. And, you know, there's, there's never been a team of racing drivers, you know, who are living with diabetes. So, you know, to have this, uh, you know, and to be able to share it with, uh, you know, with, with an audience, uh, is pretty cool, and, and we've got a, we've got an incredible NASCAR uh, documentary series uh, on their YouTube channel uh, that that really that started today. It went live today, and, and you can check it out. It's called the Road to Road America uh, to learn about sort of the background on, on my story and the journey from open wheel to NASCAR racing. And uh, you know Ryan's in there a lot as well. And there's there's going to be a lot of cool information for people to find out if they uh, if they tune in. Well, congratulations to both of you. You know, you have a lot of eyeballs on you, so the fact that you're using your platform uh, to make a difference, uh, it, it's really impressive. So thanks again to both of you for joining us and for sharing your stories. Yeah, Thank thanks you. so much. Definitely. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.